let's create some art with a collage technique. This is new to me. I am a beginner in collage and I'm asking that you follow along with me and let's learn together. I've done a lot of research, watched a lot of videos, read a lot of books. Let me first introduce my channel. On my channel, I have decided to pull a prompt every month at the beginning of the month, and then I produce four videos or five videos, depending on the number of weeks that are in each month surrounding that prompt. This month, it is collage. I am going to start by creating myself a fall palette, if you will. So I have pulled out these colors. I've listed them above. And I've taken the hooker green and the burnt umber and mixed those to kind of create that darker green. I am utilizing charcoal that I created in my fireplace. There's a link to that video up above to just kind of get myself started, to get rid of that white plate. I've taped down three sections of watercolor paper and that is what I am using as my substrate. I have used painters tape and masking tape. I took that color palette and just put color with a leaf and a couple of random stencils on some copy paper to use as my collage fodder. I also have these spray inks and I am utilizing peeled paint and vintage photo and mowed lawn and just sprinkling that on my substrate. Now, I know that I'm going to be putting some wet glue on here. I know this is going to move, but I'm okay with that. So now I'm just trying to decide how I'm going to position everything. I've ripped my papers into strips, nothing really uniform, nothing um, planned or intentional, and I've just set those aside and I'm just picking up color. This is an index card, and if you're not following along with my coffee cup, cup prompts, last month that prompt was index cards, and we created echo printing by running leaves through my hotshot or through my Sysic or through my die cut machine. So check out that playlist for coffee cup prompts and you will see that October was all index cards. I've cut those leaves out and I'm utilizing them for my focal point. I also created a piece of, or printed on my um, tissue paper, printed on tissue paper. When I had those sprays out, I just sprayed that tissue paper and then pulled out a script stamped and stamped on that tissue paper. So that's what you're seeing here as well. And if you would like to see a gel printing session where I create the fodder for my collages, just tell me in the comments below and I'll make that uh, decision on whether I'm going to do that. But I've now made a decision on what I'm going to do on the collage that I have. I want this to have a definitive beginning and a definitive end at that um, tape line that I have taped off. So I have just pulled my ruler in, marked a line across the top of that, and I'm just cutting my pieces that I'm going to glue into place right along that line. I will do the same at the bottom. So I've made a decision on what I'm going to glue down, and now let's get it glued down in 
the order that I think I would like it to appear. Now to put my pieces down, I'm just using my glue and water mixture. I mix plain old Elmer's glue with water and that is what I use typically when I am doing anything. And if you would like to know the ratios that I mix that together, I have uh, put a link to that video here on how to create your own supplies. And you can see, I told you before at the very beginning that these Distress Oxide Sprays were going to bleed when I put moisture on them. And I'm happy with the way that looks. I think it really creates an effective background. It gives me that pale yellow that is behind this autumn palette that I have created. And I think I like the way way that looks. I'm just trying to keep that within the confines of the tape that I have laid down. And now I'm going to get my leaf in place. Now that leaf has iron water on it with the tannin from the leaf. But you'll also see that because I had drug my paintbrush over those distress oxides, you'll see the residue of that distress oxide being delivered to that leaf as well. So it just blends everything together nicely, I think. And now I have number one done, and I'm just going to be quiet and finish number two and three.
So now we have the three pieces put together, and I think these kind of flow. You know, they go together. You have the leaf that is um, divided between two of the pieces, and now I want to put some texture paste, and you'll find this texture paste recipe in that same link on those DIY tools. I make my own, or my DIY supplies, I make my own texture paste, and I'm just darkening the texture paste. Now I'm testing it to make sure that it's going to stand up because I did thin it down quite a bit with that black paint. So now we're going to take this dark gray, kind of a Payne's gray, if you will, um, texture paste and apply it to the collage. And I have a baby wipe in my hand to kind of clean up any area that I don't want that texture paste. And you'll see here in a minute, I make a major mistake and clean up quite a bit of it. So that is a mistake I make right there in the center one. And I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, I don't like both that texture on the same side. I, I want to move that. So I want to move it over. So I'm now that it's still wet, I'm pulling out my baby wipe, and I am thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I just destroyed this. But it did wipe off. I did remove some of that Distress Oxide ink below. So it's lighter there on the bottom. So I'm going to lighten this first one up, up here in that upper right-hand corner, and just kind of give some continuity to that lighter yellow background in all of the pieces. So now the fun part. I think this is the most gratifying part of working on a project that you are looking for these borders is to actually pull this tape off. And I have a love-hate relationship with tape because sometimes it pulls my paper up. I try to put that tape on my pant leg before I put it down just to kind of remove some of the stickiness. Um, and sometimes you have a little bleed through. And I had a little bleed through right there on this, and you can see a little bleed through there at the top of that second one. So I'm not happy with that, and I'm going to see what I can do to remedy that or to remove that here in just a moment. So let's get all this tape pulled. And I'm really liking how my, my, really one of my first collages turned out. I'm not one that has collaged a lot. And I'm looking forward to this month because I think it will help me learn the process. And I hope that you will join me and learn with me. This does not work, by the way. I tried my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to give it a shot with, with an eraser and see if that removes it. But you can see that there's just various points. This one came out great. There's, there's no bleed through. The second and third one each have a little bit of bleed through. And I, I can't stand that. So... If anybody has any suggestions or any knowledge about how to avoid that or how to correct it, if it does happen, please put it in the comments below. I'm learning, and I'm hopeful that there's a lot of people learning with me. So, of course, I tried all kinds of things and wound up getting ink on my hands and getting black ink all over. So we're just going to cut it out and glue it to another section and call it a day. And that worked out fine. So now I have three clean 
um, you know, not not my original intention, but I, I glued all three collages to a sheet of cardstock or, or watercolor paper, and now I have three pristine white edges around my collage. And to make sure that they are glued 100%, I'm just going to put paper in between each and put some weight on it. Now, in retrospect, this worked out fine because I didn't have any bleed through of the glue. But in retrospect, I would have put deli sheets down in between just in case I had some glue that seeped when I put this weight on. And I have this huge book of antiques that is very, very heavy. I put down on top of this and I let it set overnight. And I have a completed collage which is going to be our prompt for the month coming up. And here is that finished piece of art. So thank you so much for joining me. I would love if you would hop over to my YouTube group, Two Old Crows, on Facebook and post pictures of the collages that you create this month with this prompt. This is such a, a open expression type of prompt because you can collage with virtually anything. So I hope you will come join me and we can all learn one from the other uh, about collaging during the next four weeks. Bye for now.